Hey guys, my name is Amy from Amy Jo Designs on Etsy and I have a top 5% shop. I sell digital and printable based products on Etsy and today I'm going to be sharing with you my five steps for creating a profitable new Etsy business. So stay tuned. <music> Welcome, my name is Amy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five steps that new Etsy shops that specialize in digital and printable products can implement to create a profitable shop. So I know all of this from my own experience after creating a profitable Etsy shop. I am currently the 95.4th percentile, so I'm inching closer to the top 4% of all Etsy sellers, I'm so close. But right now I am a top 5% and I wanna share with you exactly how I did it and five tips for new shops that you can implement today to start seeing profits. So subscribe, like, do all those things. And I also wanna tell you, if you want to check out my Etsy success guide, it is in the link down below. It's a 27 page workbook that goes through exactly what you need to do to create a profitable Etsy shop. It helps you identify one, what you should create, two, how to create it, three, how to post it on Etsy for sale, and four, how to actually generate sales. So go check that out and let's jump into five steps for creating a profitable new Etsy printables or digital based shop. So the first thing that I want to talk about is validating your idea. So typically new shops, they have an idea for a digital or printable based product that they want to create. And the first thing that you should do is spend this time doing some research and validating that it is a, a profitable idea and that there is room for it and demand for it within the Etsy marketplace. And looking here, I'm gonna use E-Rank and you can use a variety of different types of tools in order to do this research. You can use Marmalade, you can use E-Rank, there's a couple other, Everbee, I think Everbee is one. Um, I don't have paid versions of any of them and I'm just gonna kind of show you how to go about doing the research. So again, this is the free version. I'm gonna go into keyword lists. So let's say just for sake, but sake of example, you wanna create a, a digital planner. So if we were to search in here a keyword like digital planner, you can see that it's gonna give us a whole bunch of different results. Now you're gonna see there is very high search results, meaning people are searching for this product, but there's also very, very high competition. It'll tell you like this one's green, good this one's red bad <laughs> so if we scroll down a little bit we can take a look at some keyword ideas and you can see anything here that is red it means that there is a lot of competition if we keep scrolling down we're gonna look for some ideas where maybe they are in the yellow or they are in the green. So if we kind of continue to scroll down, we can see that hyperlinked planner has doesn't have as much competition, to-do list, business planner. And for the sake of this video, we're gonna click on nurse planner, right? So you can see for nurse planner, it has 329 monthly searches and not a whole lot of competition. So my whole point of showing this to you is one, validate that there are people searching for this product and meaning you're looking for something that is not read here in the average searches and also validate that if this isn't going to drown you in competition. So this is a great example here. And then you're also gonna see tags and additional ideas to drill down even further. So before you create your first listing, take the time, do the research. All right, my second tip, it is absolutely vital that you spend time creating excellent listing photos, all right? This is going to be your storefront. 
and it is going to have a direct impact as to whether somebody can envision using your product or not. And Etsy is a visual based business. So as we go into Etsy, let's say that we're going to use this nurse planner as an example. You can see here, if we search for nurse planner, we're going to get a couple of different items and you can see that if it is has a lot of sales, for example, this one has a lot of sales. These ones have a lot of sales. This one has a lot of sales. They have very professional photos. The product title and keywords are showcased throughout this listing photo. It's going to tell you what type of format it's in. It's going to give you a sneak peek of what you get. It is going to look aesthetically pleasing. So take the time to create professional listing photos. I use Canva and I do have a video where I outline how to create listing photos that convert. So go check that video out. I also have some listing photo templates that you can purchase. The link will be down below. Um, if you don't want to go through the steps of creating all these templates by hand yourself. All right. And the third tip is utilize SEO search engine optimization. Etsy is a search engine, right? Users are going into Etsy and they are searching for keywords. And so if you want your listings to be found, you have to utilize these keywords. So there's a couple of things that going that go into this just to make sure that you are capitalizing and using keywords. So first of all, you're going to want to identify what your keywords are. Again, use a keyword tool like E-Rank or Marmalade. You can see here, here are great examples of keywords that you can see popular listings as well as the keywords that they are using. So make sure that you are planning out what your keywords are going to be. And when you're creating your listing, you are using all available keywords. I think it's 10 right now. And when I first started my Etsy shop, I was making like one sale a month maybe, but I also had no tags or keywords set up. So be sure that you have tags set up when you are creating your listing and make sure you're also putting tags within the title of your listing and without within the description as well as on the visual listing photo. Number four is going to be a trick here that I I didn't think to do and that is to create sales right away. Creating sales within Etsy is going to create urgency and let's face it everybody likes getting a good deal on a product that they're going to purchase and when I first started my shop I thought that sales were only for established shops who are already bringing in sales and had some profit but it really helps you to increase your algorithm, get more exposure, and from a sales psychology perspective, creates urgency so that your customer wants to buy. So utilize sales right away. And the best thing about digital and printable based products is that it's almost 100% profit. So if you feel like giving a 25% discount on your products is going to impact your profit margin too significantly, mark it up a few dollars so that you have that wiggle room within your price so that you can effectively leverage sales. And my fifth and final recommendation is to utilize social media. So my shop has a spread of 52% of my traffic coming from Etsy and 48% coming from traffic that I've driven to Etsy, meaning social media. So be sure that you are using social media. When I started using social media, my sales grew over 380% in one single month. I am a big fan of repurposing my content. And so what does that mean? Part of my Etsy strategy is utilizing TikTok, Instagram Reels, and Facebook Reels. So I will create one TikTok and I will repurpose that and post it on Instagram Reels and on Facebook. And TikTok really just blasted my sales out of the water. If you're not using TikTok to generate sales for your Etsy shop, you need to get on it. There's something magical about the TikTok audience. Like they have their credit cards in hand. And that was a big surprise for me. I do have a video talking all about how to leverage TikTok specifically for Etsy sellers. And don't worry, it does not include 
doing things like lip syncing, dancing, twerking, or anything like that. You can literally jump on TikTok and explain how your product benefits people, keep them short, and you can literally generate so much organic interest in your products, driving them to Etsy and ultimately generating more sales. So those are my five recommendations and steps for creating a profitable new Etsy shop. Again, if you want to learn more, go check out my Etsy success guide. It's down below. It's 27 pages of a workbook that leads you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do in order to create printable products on Etsy that are going to make you money literally today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and bye-bye.